The name of this Blender video tutorial is Blender 3D version 2.49a Blend Image Overlay Tutorial. A slick effect that you can do in photo image editors such as Photoshop or the GIMP is to overlay two or more images so that one image overlays another, creating a layered effect. You can do this in Blender as well. The more you can do in Blender, the better, because it saves the time and effort of switching from one program to another. We're going to combine the official photo of President Obama with the official White House photo so that the White House is in the background under President Obama's photo. Here's the goal. Using some nifty texturing techniques in Blender, including Blender's own blend texture, we can achieve this effort with little effort. We start by firing up Blender with its default 2.49a startup scene. We're going to create a plane on which we will work with the images. So the first step is to delete the default cube. Highlight it by moving the cursor over the cube, then right click and delete, pressing X or the delete key. Then we'll add a plane, space, add, mesh, plane to the scene. Then we'll scale the plane up three times its original size, uh, that's S3, to get the shape large enough to display the image properly. We'll then go to the buttons window, select F5 for shading, then the Material Subcontext button, then the Add New button to add a material. Then we hit the Texture button, F6, to add a new texture. Then we go to Texture Type and select Image. All the way to the right, you'll see the Load button, which lets us load an image. Texture. Select the file. Its name is filled into the file name area. Then press the Load Image button. The image is loaded into the preview area. Press F12 to render the scene. The image is rendered on the plane, but we'd like the image to be facing us instead of being tilted. The simplest way of doing this is to go to the View menu, selecting Align View, and then Align Active Camera to View. Now, when we press F12 to render, the White House image is facing the camera. However, we would also like the image to completely fill the camera area. To do that, switch to camera view, numpad 0, select the plane, right click, and scale it, use the S key, to fit the camera. Now the White House image fits the screen, press F12 to render again. We go back to the texture panel and rename this texture White House. When Blender renders, it starts with any materials on the object. Then it renders each texture, starting with the topmost and proceeding on down. We're going to add President Obama's image on the third texture layer, skipping the second for the time being. You'll see why shortly. Highlight the third rectangle down. Press the Add New button. Select the image type, then the load button at the right, and then select the Obama JPEG. Finally, press the load image button to load the image. Press F12 to render. President Obama's image is rendered, replacing the White House. That's because Blender renders textures from the highest to the lowest placement. Internally, the White House image was rendered, but it was replaced by President Obama's. How do we show the White House in the background? The answer, set up a blend texture as the second one between the White House and the President. This intermediate texture, which we'll label Blend, is one of Blender's built-in textures. It was set up exactly for this situation, to blend textures, in this case our two images, together. The Blend texture has two additional tabs, a Colors tab and a Blend tab. The Colors tab controls how the blend colors and opacity interact with the textures above and below. We select the Colors tab and then click on the Color Band button. Note how the preview panel changes to a color gradient from black to light blue. There are two swatches, numbered 0 and 1. The dash line displays visually which swatch is selected and its position on the gradient from 0 on the extreme left to 1 on the extreme light. Swatch 0 is current. You can see that as well in the CUR area. The color is black, 
with the R, G, and B settings at zero. Note that the A setting is zero as well. The A stands for the alpha channel, which is the transparency setting. A value of zero means totally transparent, which means that the White House image shows completely through. Switch to swatch one. The color setting is light blue. R is zero, G is one, and B is one and the transparency is one, which means that none of the White House image shows through. As the image goes to the right, less of the White House and more of the President shows. You can play with adding gradients, changing the color and alpha settings to get other effects. You can also play with the blend tabs, currently set to lin or linear, to get nice effects such as halo and diagonal gradients. When we press F12 to render, we still see the President's image. There's still another step that we need to do. Go to the Materials panel. There's a panel way out on the right with Texture, Map Input, and Map 2 tabs. This panel fine-tunes the texture rendering. Select the Map 2 tab all the way to the right. Press the Stencil button, the first one on the third row, and press also the No RGB button, which is the third button on the third row. Now press F12. We'll see the blended image with the result that we want. There is one other problem. There's a big shiny bright spot on the image. This is due to the setting of the lamp. To fix it, select the lamp and activate the No Specular button. Press F12 to render and the bright spot will be gone. We've only scratched the surface. There are many neat imaging tricks you can accomplish in Blender with the blend texture. Happy blendering!